We are group six, and this is our TCA number one on Mobileye. This case focuses on Mobileye and how they have emerged as one of the most successful companies in the field of driverless cars. Mobileye was in the automobile industry for over 15 years. The efforts put into the design and technology of driverless cars led to the launching of self-driving vehicles by the year of 2014. The primary strategic issue within this case study is that Mobileye had new competitors entering the market, chasing after them and reaching for their market share. They are looking for their niche in the market to stay on top, but at the same time, remain profitable while on the cutting edge of technology. The primary cause of the strategic issue is the increase in competition amongst Google and even Tesla. The rivalry between Mobileye and Google is the main reasoning behind the strategic issue above. Our recommendation is to reach a long-term partnership with Google to sustain cutting edge technology. By partnering with Google, Mobileye takes out their largest competitor, therefore creating long-term innovation and profitability. Mobileye has seen new competitors start to emerge and work towards their innovative technology. Their goal is to stay on top of this market while keeping profitability. Technology is always evolving and staying ahead is the ultimate goal as well as the biggest challenge. They need to deliver to buyers and satisfy their customers while remaining a reputable product. If Mobileye stays stagnant, they won't be able to maintain market share and keep their profitability. While no one has completely been able to copy Mobileye's IQ chip and software applications because of the market entrance difficulty, companies will eventually catch up. Our ultimate goal of the partnership is the best for longevity in this industry after we looked at external forces and their potential. In order for Mobileye to stay on top of the industry, it is important to analyze their past and current financial performance and financial strat strategy used for their business operations by comprehending their financial information. The case provides mobilized statement of operations from the year 2011 to September 2014 and balance sheets from the year 2013 and 2014. When looking at their financial data, our main focus was the changes in financial performance and changes in trends in cost and profitability profitability. First, let's look at the changes in financial performance. If you look at the income statement on Exhibit 6A, their gap net income for 2013 was 19.9 .9 million. But in 2014, it is reported to have a net loss of 32.4 million. It is likely caused by the increase in operating expenses from going public for the first time in the stock market in the summer of 2014. I'll explain more in detail on the specific accounts in the operating costs that has significant impact in the next section. When they went public, they had a positive outlook and their initial offering share, shares price exceeded the estimate because of the strong demand in the market. This allowed them to have a market valuation of $11 billion in September 2014. Also, if you look at the balance sheet in Exhibit 6A, you will notice a major leap in the cash and cash equivalents and paid in capital from the prior. Cash and cash equivalents include increase from 72 million to 298 million, which is over a 310% increase. Also, the paid in capital person change was roughly a 112% increase. This large increase is from the cash received in exchange for issuing mobilized common and preferred stocks to investors. The changes and trends in cost and profitability are also very significant to the strategic issue for Mobileye. Mobileye, Mobileye started to put more emphasis on the quality of their products and safety of their consumers rather than lowering the cost. Because of this, they had an operating loss of close to 21 million. The majority of their expenses were from research and development and general and administrative expenses. In 2014, they increased employees specifically in the quality assurance department across the firm. However, they managed to increase profit and revenue roughly by 28% in 2014. Mobileye successfully managed to change its business strategy to ensure safety and improve its technology by increasing the operating costs while also maintaining a competitive price in the market. In addition to the analysis tools, Kate and I will go over in the next slide, I conducted a PESTLE 
and value chain analysis to identify key external and internal forces. Although Mobileye cannot directly control the external environment, it is important to understand how forces affect the company and keep an eye on the forces. These external forces include regulatory bodies, state of the economy around the world, competition, and technological advances and trends. Regulations can both hurt and help Mobileye. Requiring their Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, ADAS, technology can boost demand by raising awareness to the safety capabilities, but also attract competitors. For example, the U.S. National Highway Safety Transportation Agency rated cars based on factors including safety features, which incentivized car manufacturers to include mobilized technology. I want to highlight how bad economic conditions can diminish mobilized sales. Rising unemployment, lower discretionary income, and high inflation discourages consumers from purchasing vehicles in general, especially when they have ADAS technology, since the technology raises the price. Specifically, mobilized chip and software add around $300 extra to the price of a car for consumers. Since Kate touches on the competitive environment in the five forces analysis, I will skip it for now. Just know it is intense and is a focal point of the strategic issue. The last external force, technology, is also intense. The tech industry is always evolving and Mobileye must keep up with trends and enhance their products to avoid falling behind competitors. Internal forces are easier to control compared to external forces and they help establish the foundation of competitive advantages. Mobilized key internal forces are high levels of R&D, loyal employees, and good company culture, and lastly, their access to financial resources. These internal forces have all positive effects on Mobileye. Mobileye has focused on research and development of their IQ chip and applications, which has separated them from competitors. They have a high degree of employee loyalty, which is in part because of a quality company culture. Lastly, they've excelled at finding investors to gain cap capital. Their philosophy of taking more than needed protected them from the financial crisis of 2008 and has propelled them in the market. We chose to analyze Mobileye's ability to bundle applications using one camera with the VRIO tool. This bundling capability allows them to sustain a competitive advantage because it is valuable, rare, difficult to imitate and organized. Bundling applications via one camera is cost efficient and decreases car accidents and deaths, which is extremely valuable. The bundling route was atypical to the tech industry, which justifies it being rare. They've shielded themselves from imitations with patents and through extensive testing. Finally, management has positioned themselves in the market as the leading technology in driver assistance systems and financially incentivizes innovation, which helps them stay organized to capture value. Ultimately, the strategic decision to bundle applications with one camera transformed the autonomous car industry, despite them pioneering most applications and being able to capitalize on each one individually. Next, Kate will talk about Porter's Five Forces. Thanks, Amber. We chose to analyze the external environment with Porter's five forces. This analysis helped us determine threats, opportunities, and profit potential of the autonomous driving tech industry. The two we really want to focus, though, on is competitors and buyers. There are many competitors in the industry. However, Mobileye is the leader for camera-based systems, and they have low levels of direct competition. Within Tier 1, TR, TRW, Mando, Delphi, Denso, Continento and Autolive produce ADAS packages, similar to Mobileye. There are also competitors that service multiple markets on top of the autonomous industry. These include US-based Aptina Imaging Cor Corporation and Omnivision. These companies above are semi-differentiated, but we believe they are on the cusp of price wars to maintain customers. Additionally, their products do not perish quickly. The product life cycle could last up to eight to 10 years. 
As long as better technology isn't designed or regulations force customers to switch technologies, there isn't a need to change technology until it stops working. The tech industry is always evolving, so Mobileye needs to stay on top of technological advances and trends. As intense competition increases, the less profit potential for Mobileye. And for buyers, we really wanted to look at them and see how directly they dictate Mobileye's revenue. Mobileye demanded that tier one suppliers stop building competing products to continue working with them. Autolive and Continental denied them and therefore Mobileye ultimately lost customers. Also, buyers can more easily enter the industry versus someone who is unfamiliar with it. And therefore, some of Mobileye's buyers have made this decision. So with all of this knowledge, we wanted to come up with some alternatives so that Mobileye can really put their best foot forward. And Cam's going to touch on that. So when we look at what Mobileye has ahead of them, we see just how prestigious this technology truly is. At the end of the day, the company has two main goals. First being to create profit and second is to maintain their dominance in the market they're currently in. That's why the primary goal for them is to partner with Google on a self-sufficient autonomous car. This partnership will take time to fully develop and will be an investment on both sides, but will bring the ultimate reward of innovation and profitability. Our second alternative is to help maintain their current products and relationships. The current buyers are satisfied and we want them to and we want to maintain these accounts while ensuring they do not turn their heads to potential alternatives. This allows Mobileye to make smaller R&D strides towards improving the technology with their current brands. None of these deals with their current brands will involve the R&D funds put into autonomous vehicle technology. Our third alternative is to tap into the Japanese market. This will be the hardest to achieve of the three due to the fact that Toyota has decided that they will be working on their own systems. Kate will now explain how Mobileye could successfully achieve all of these ideas. So the goal for the Google part partnership is to cohesively work towards a self-sufficient car that can be automated on its own without the driver's full attention. With this goal in mind, we understand Google's status within the technology field and believe that the consumer will be more inclined by the brand name of Google and an expert car technology developer to be hand in hand. This partnership is not a battle, though, and we believe that with Mobileye's past with partnerships, we really want to make sure that they are on the same page and working together. So a group of experts from both companies will be heading this project in order that no company is taking or giving more than the other. Each company will assign a head team developer that will work on managing the team together. These team leads will make reports once a year on the developments of the project to finalize what they have gotten done and what they are working on next for Google and Mobileye. Mobileye believes in a slow progression of goals, though, and we want to keep this by dividing this project into set goals for the team. 2020, 2025, and an ultimate project end by 2030. Safety is a priority, and keeping this at the forefront of the partnership will keep both parties happy and motivated. Google will be receiving technology and developments that they have not yet touched while helping fund and bring new ideas to the Mobileye team. This will help bring back the original cost of R&D that Google was projecting at $170,000 per car. Bringing down that price and development will make the technology more profitable for implementation and use. Our team is proposing a 70-30 investment. Google is behind in their technology development for these cars. And Mobileye has already spent an extensive money in creating, so it is only fair that we have the partnership reflect this on the investment side. For Mobileye to continue to be profitable, though, while working in a partnership towards this new technology, they need to sustain the relationships with other buyers. Our second alternative touches on this by keeping up with current buyers and researching customers' preferences. This can be executed through buyers to see what are the current wants and needs of consumers. Most of these will be small changes in the IQ chip that won't conclude in a fully autonomous vehicle. This will keep stakeholders happy by maintaining a profit. Our third alternative will take more time in regard to negotiations. One of the last places Mobileye can fulfill an adding profit is by breaking into the Japanese market. This includes convincing Toyota to buy into Mobileye. Toyota has a lot of market share in the car industry, 
and to convince them that it would be more profitable that they use mobilized technology rather than develop their own would receive a large profit increase for the company. So we just wanted to thank you for taking the time to hear our ideas and we really look forward to um, working with you and hearing from you in the future.